Hey, welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I'm back yet again for yet another NECA Toys Target exclusive cartoon TMNT video, and today, very excited, straight from the mind of Stan Sakai, and of course, the world of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we have the adventures of Space Usagi, and check out that gorgeous artwork on the front by artist Ben Sido, and the sides of the box, well, they're all yellow. Nice colors, of course, that stands out with the figure itself. The little flippy fold-out cover thing will show you a nice photo of Space Usagi along with everything inside the packaging and on the backside equally as awesome artwork. Love to see that along with a little bit of a write-up for Space Usagi and Spot. I just love that floating asteroid. That is so friggin cool and and just what a nice touch. Uh, on this beautiful artwork, right? And you get to see nice photos of said figure. And here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So thank you very much for that. Here's everything inside the box. So if you're missing anything, you'll know what it comes with. And the barcode as well. And like I said, this is coming from Target. And they're starting to hit Target store shelves now. Space Usagi, you say? Well, in the 90s, yes, it was a little bit of a spin-off comic book series, again, from artist and story writer Stan Sakai. Space Usagi himself was basically a descendant from Miyamoto Usagi. And yes, I said Miyamoto Usagi this time because I know some of you out there would like to correct me on that, when in actuality his name is Usagi Yojimbo, and I don't care. <laughs> The action figures taught us all so much. But recently, Space Usagi has returned. But if you were interested to see how this particular NECA Toys figure compares with all the artwork that comes before, it's a little bit of a mashup from various looks, along with the unaired Space Usagi cartoon television pilot. So again, it's all kind of a, a mishmash what-if scenario for the NECA Toys cartoon TMNT line. Nice way to do it. So, in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Target exclusive cartoon TMNT line, Bucky, I mean, Space Usagi. And while I got all you Cadbury bunnies here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, you cut out all those dang twisty ties. <laughs> you know the ones I'm talking about, the ones you have to pull and then cut right before it slices your finger anyways. He comes with a bunch of extra hands and something I want you to keep in mind, and it's a mistake I made, so hopefully you don't make the same. This is an all-white figure. Number one, you're gonna see a lot of paint fleckage when you swap out the hands, that's normal. NECA paints the joints of their figures, but the hands themselves all white, so that's gonna rub tremendously. My advice, heat up the hands and then put the weapons in that you wanna utilize and then leave it alone because he comes with a really cool space weapon that you don't wanna rub off all that gorgeous blue paint onto the white hands, okay? You'll never see it now, but at the same time, I don't want you to make that mistake. Along with the sword, I learned with the gun, so I didn't make the mistake with the sword, but it's a nice, Sword, again, you'll see lots of little paint fleckage from the white. This I love though, it's an energy effect for his energy sword, right? Don't call it a lightsaber, but it fits on there perfectly. And it's just, it's so simple, but yet so effective. And I absolutely love the way that that looks. Hands down, one of my favorite accessories in this box. Now, he does come with several others, like a laser gun, which kind of looks like you could have inserted a, a laser firing effect piece at the tip of the gun, which is kind of cool, but that's done nicely, along with a big old space knife. And what's nice to see is that all these weapons really harken to the original Space Usagi comic book line. He does come with an alternate angry head portrait. You can swap the ears out between the two of them. And my advice, much like the weapons in the hands, heat them up when swapping out the heads. It's kind of a pain. Now, he does come with his loyal little weirdo dinosaur spots, right? Which I thought was just a repaint of the previous one that came with regular Usagi. No, it's an all new sculpt. Nice, clean, crisp black lines every which way. Very robotic, nice cell shading to them. Very cool. And one of my favorites as well, harkening back to let's say Space Raphael, right? From Playmates, you get the nice fishbowl space helmets, comes apart. And it just looks so cool. And then, of course, Space Usagi himself, which 
is a nice bright yellow standout of a figure. Gorgeous cell shading all over him, blacks and whites, peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Of course, you won't have any problems standing this guy, but just overall, it's a nice looking figure in the sense that it is that what if, right? He never appeared in Cartoon TMNT. He does have some minor paint blemishes here and there, at least on mine. So when you're in the store, open up the flappy, make sure you're getting yourself a good looking figure. The one thing I will say is that with most of the most recent NECA TMNT cartoon offerings, you're gonna have to heat this guy up. I had some problems in the arms and the biceps. The head, you'll get plenty of articulation out of it, but definitely heat that up when you wanna swap the head portraits out as well it's really a pain be careful with the shoulder pads just the way they are connected it does give you a little bit of give when you want to put the arms up but i do not recommend pushing the envelope in any way shape or form he does have double jointed elbows he's got wrists they rock and to and fro you get the idea and then you have a little bit of waist more so than usual for a NECA cartoon TMNT figure which i appreciate and he will spin he doesn't seem to have anything more towards the actual waist but as much as my fingers they get over there and kind of move him around it just doesn't seem like he does now the rubbery Space diaper will give you some give within the legs, right? So you can get him kicking out, kicking off to the side. He does have double jointed knees. The big, thick, chunky boots kind of prohibit that from being a total double joint. It's enough momentum. And then his boot feet will rock and go up and down. And you get the idea, right? He's a little bit cumbersome to move around. I'm just going to be honest. But in displayability options, it really is a nice looking figure, especially when, like I said, you get all the weapons utilized, right? I love the, just the space laser knife. That's, <laughs> that's my favorites. And do keep in mind, you have to have the ears up when you want to put the fishbowl head on. You can't have the ears down. It won't fit. And if you wanted to see regular feudal Japan Usagi Yojimbo with now space Usagi Yojimbo, you can see the difference. It is a new figure. They've utilized the same head portrait on one of them, but in totality, you get about three head portraits between the two figures, and yes, you can swap them out if you'd like, along with the old dinosaur to now the robo dinosaur. I love the way those things look. The accessories really bring all these NECA figures to life, and for that, I am most appreciative. Now, in terms of the cartoon TMNT, Donatello, Space Usagi, yeah, that's gonna be at appropriate heights. Wouldn't really matter anyways, he was never on the show technically, but you have an idea in your head about what Usagi Ujimbo's height should be. And just for kicks, here is the original Playmates Toys crazy psycho looking Space Usagi. And I'll tell you, if they wanted to redo Space Usagi, we have a black and white version as well. We have this color version, but if they wanted to swip swap it and do these more outlandish 90s colors, I wouldn't mind that at all. So... That will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new NECA Toys Target exclusive cartoon TMNT lines, Space Usagi. And he has some issues, right? It's an overall fun figure. It'll display nicely. But if you're looking for one with a lot of articulation, being able to just kind of move it right out of the package and whatnot, he's definitely a heat em up sort of figure. Some of the paint defects here and there, right? They're not all going to be perfect. But if you get a chance to go through a few of them on the shelf, make sure... It's a good looking one. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Space Usagi. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, don't go too heavy handed with these whole what if scenarios. But I am enjoying some of the characters so far, like Space Usagi. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.